Understanding perspective is a fundamental skill in design sketching. We experience the world in perspective, so sketching in it will make your drawings feel more real and be more easily understood. Let's start with one-point perspective. Start by drawing a horizon line across the top of your page. Horizon line. Then add a vanishing point onto it. Now draw a rectangle somewhere in the distance here. And what we're going to do is connect each of the corners towards the vanishing point. Great. Now I make another rectangle in between these new points. And now we have a rectangle drawn in one point perspective. You can repeat this again with a different shape, maybe a little bit of a different uh, location. So here are our box up there. do the same thing by adding another rectangle. Now you see that all of these lines are converging into this point. If I were to draw another box and I were to draw it above the horizon line, then anything above the horizon line has to converge down towards the vanishing point. What's nice about one point perspective is that everything that isn't a, uh, an edge going towards the vanishing point is parallel. So these guys are parallel to each other. These guys are parallel to each other. You don't have to do any other convergence apart from the vanishing point lines. So yeah, these guys are also parallel to one another. Now, so that's one point perspective. Uh, let's start with uh, two point perspective. So again, start by drawing a your horizon line. But now add two vanishing points left and a right one. Now, what's different about two-point perspective is that everything you draw will be going towards either the left vanishing point or the right vanishing point. And any lines that are vertical are going to stay parallel, so they don't have any convergence yet. So now with two lines established, let's uh, start with a leading edge. This is the edge that is the front end of our rectangle, of our box. So now from the top of that, extend a line towards the right vanishing point. Same goes at the bottom. And do the same thing to the left vanishing point. Now what we have is this line projected towards left and right vanishing point. So what we want to do is establish a boundary to this box. And we're going to just say it's over there. Now from these new verticals, extend those out towards the vanishing points. Now you see I'm also drawing past both these points. Um, and I am uh, trying to do it in, in one or two strokes, trying to keep them as straight and as clean as possible. So here we've got um, the edges that we see connected to the left and right vanishing point. But what I like to do when we get started in drawing is to always draw uh, 
through. And what I mean by drawing through is seeing the three other edges that, you, that would normally be there on, in a, uh, on this rectangular form. So I'm gonna use these points and pr bring them back towards the left and right vanishing point. These lines got a little bit messy, but the convergence here is, uh, I had to fix the convergence because the first time wasn't going so well. So I'll beef it up with some line weight just to so you can see a little bit better. Now you see all of these lines here, if we look at the ones going to the left vanishing point, they're converging nicely. This one was converging a little bit too aggressively, so I had to uh, let it go out a little bit more. And um, the ones going to the right have a nice kind of convergence. They, they seem to be rather true. Um, so that's a good example of um, something, how you can correct a drawing when it's going a little bit south. So that is drawing in two-point perspective, where um, the left and the right lines are going towards the respective vanishing points, but you still have all of the verticals running in parallel. So now let's try three-point perspective, and you'll see how that changes things when we uh, add another point to it. I think I'll draw it. No, no, no. So with three-point perspective, we still have a horizon line. We're gonna ignore that one. And what we're gonna do is uh, establish, so that's the horizon line, the um, one vanishing point, another vanishing point, and there's going to be a third one, and we're gonna lay it down over here. And we'll do uh, first vanishing point, second vanishing point, third vanishing point. So these two are just as typical as you can imagine with the uh, two-point perspective, one and two. The addition of the third one makes it so that we have a, a convergence going on with the with the vertical lines, which is what we see in uh, reality. So this is the most true-to-life type of uh, drawing you can do. So here I'll start with a... Uh, Again, I'll start with a leading edge that is going to be centered to um, the third vanishing point, just to kind of make it a little bit easier on myself. That one's going to be vertical. Um, and we'll we'll get back to the, the third vanishing point. Right now, we're just going to set up the same thing that we did for the left and right vanishing points in two-point perspective. So here, what we'll do is, uh, I'll make this a little bit longer so we can see how dramatic it changes. On the top, we're going to go to the Second vanishing point. And let's say, now we're gonna, I wanna, I wanna put in some lines for the third vanishing point. And if I were to say I'm gonna start there, I'm not gonna have a straight line that's parallel to this. What's going to happen is it's going to converge as well. It's going to go towards the third vanishing point. And same goes if I had something over there. So now we have a convergence that's happening in three ways. I'll start these new points and extend them towards their vanishing points. And now we have a, uh, a box drawn in perspective, in three-point perspective. I'm going to draw through. So that we have the 
third. Uh, the other sides drawn as well. And here I'll just add some more line weight so we can define the boundaries of this box in three-point perspective. So in three-point, we always have a convergence on every line that we choose. So that's three-point perspective. Two-point perspective. And one-point perspective. You can see the differences here. This one looks a little bit more uh, less true to life because things are literally parallel, the up and the vertical and the horizontal lines, and only there, there's only one uh, point of convergence. This is good for if you're having, if you're drawing a, a bit of a larger scale, you know, um, looking at down a train track or at a train station, that's sort of where you can observe this most often. Uh, Two-point perspective is um, getting a little bit trickier with, with having two points of convergence, but the same principles apply that all of the edges need to be converging on one point or another with all of the verticals staying um, parallel to each other. And three-point perspective, where we have every line that it will be on the page will be converging to one point or another. And there you go. They all have their uses, but they're all extremely important in understanding how to draw more uh, true to life and more clearly.